part of our program involves hunter collected sample kits and we use those as a way to monitor the health of musk oxen. One of the kits we have, the simplest version, is what you see back here and it is collected by hunter, subsistence hunters but also by the guides for the outfitted sport hunting. And the, the sport hunting ones actually have been one of our most important ones because they collect samples every year at the same time. The guides take the hunters out for their hunt. They take a kit, a pre-labeled kit with some bags in it, and when they get the, the musk ox, they're able to just take that kit out and start to collect samples. So we collect a number of samples and we also collect data from the, the guides about the animal. Did you find anything strange on the animal? Any scabs or? No fat. Huh? No fat, no fat eh? yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Okay. We collect fecal samples, which we can look at in the lab and determine if there's lungworm out there, the amount of lungworm. Um, we also look at other parasites in the feces. We take blood on filter paper. So this is a technique that we've developed that instead of the hunters having to collect bottles of blood or vials of blood that are very difficult to handle, what they do is they just soak filter paper strips in the blood from the animal. That goes into an envelope and then when it gets down to our lab, we elute the blood out, we soak it out and we can run a whole variety of blood tests. So that gives us a lot of information on the animals from the perspective of diseases that they've been exposed to. We collect fur from the back right over the rump, and from that we take the kiviate, which is the undercoat, and we measure stress hormones. The body condition was skinny okay. and zero back fat. So we have a good sample for hair. We take the lower leg bone, left hind leg, and from that leg, we can look at the skin, and there's some parasites that are most common in caribou, but it may show up in, in musk oxen. So we look at the skin for that parasite. We have the hoof, the, the whole foot is on there, so we can look at the hoof and see if there are any abnormalities. And then we also cut open the bone and measure the bone marrow, and we use that as a measure of body condition. They also will tell us um, what other animals were in that herd, so age and sex. They'll tell us the location, and there's an opportunity for them to make any comments about the animal, if they saw anything abnormal, um, if it was fat, if it was skinny, and, and anything else like that that they think is important.